Voltage dip. Cause annoying light flicker to serious nuisance trip of power system. Dear builder owners, good day. Today, I would like to share you a topic. What are voltage sag? Voltage dip. Understand IEC and IEEE standards for voltage dip and voltage dip measurement requirement. What are voltage dip? A voltage dip is a short-term reduction in RMS voltage, i.e. 10% or more below specified rated equipment voltage for a period of half cycle to one minute. Difference between voltage sag and voltage dip. The term sag is preferred in USA. According to IEEE 1159-2009, a voltage sag to 70% means voltage is reduced down to 70% of the nominal value, not reduced by 70%. The term voltage dip is used in European countries. The IEC will define a 70% voltage dip as voltage reduced by 70% from the nominal voltage. What are the sources of voltage dip? Voltage dip could caused by lightning strike on the power lines, copper cable theft, who cut the in-service copper power cable, start of big load on a power system, causing internal voltage dip, road work which accidentally damaged the underground cable, flashover, short circuit and fault. What are the negative impact of voltage dip? Light flickering, unscheduled plant shutdown, due to nuisance tripping, which may result in huge financial losses, malfunction of electrical equipment, due to after match high surge current, when the voltage supply resume. IEEE 1668 recommended practice, define magnitudes and durations of sags that should not result in equipment failure. Equipment shall able to withstand 50% voltage sag for maximum of 10 cycles. Equipment shall able to withstand 70% voltage sag for maximum of 25 cycles. Equipment shall able to withstand 80% voltage sag for maximum of 100 cycles. For voltage dip measurement, we would like to emphasize the importance of having continuous voltage and current waveforms recording based on non-threshold trigger method. Because, power quality analyzer, with a continuous waveforms recording mode, will able to capture, any event in your network. Power quality analyzer that adopt to, threshold trigger mode, is not suitable for standard power quality voltage dip monitoring and recording. As these type of power quality analyzer, will not continuous capture voltage three phases waveforms in your network. Therefore it will not able, to help you with maintaining a stable and reliable power system. In order for us to demonstrate you, the impact of aggregation time on voltage dip measurement, we have performed tests as below. Three different type of power quality analyzers have been used to measure same single voltage dip event. Power quality analyzer A, come with 3 second aggregation time mode. Power quality analyzer B, come with 10 cycle aggregation time mode. Which is 100% comply with, IEC 61430 class A requirement. Power quality analyzer C, come with one cycle aggregation time mode. Which is 100% comply with, IEC 61430 class A requirement, and beyond IEC 61430 class A stand and. Result of the power quality voltage dip measurement, are listed as below. Number 1, power quality analyzer A, recorded no voltage dip event, even though there was an actual voltage dip event happened. Since the power quality analyzer A, come with 3 seconds aggregation time, it is too slow to capture the momentary voltage dip event. Number 2, Power Quality Analyzer B, which fully comply with IEC 61430 Class A, having 10 cycles aggregation time, the recorded voltage dip event at 175 volt. Number 3, Power Quality Analyzer C, which fully comply with IEC 61430 Class A and beyond the standard, having single cycle aggregation time, the recorded voltage dip event at 98 volt. Conclusion, Power Quality Analyzer C, which having the finest aggregation time, that is single cycle aggregation time, measure accurate and correct voltage dip measurement compared to power quality analyzer that come with 10 cycles and 3 second aggregation time. This test result have reminded us of the slogan, if you could not measure it, you could not manage it. Therefore, it is utmost important for us, to use single cycle aggregation time power quality analyzer, for details and accurate on-site voltage dip measurement. For a correct and accurate, power quality voltage dip study, we need to use power quality analyzer that come with six major features as following. Number one, power quality analyzer used must fully comply with IEC 61430 class A. Number two, power quality analyzer used must be able to continuously record three phases of voltage and current waveforms throughout the power quality recording period or up to 22 months. This is important in order to offer no missing event recording. Number three, power quality analyzer used, must come with sampling rate of 1024 sample per cycle, 1024 sample logged within 20 millisecond, 
for 50 Hz supply frequency, throughout the power quality recording period, or up to 22 month. In order for us, to capture details power quality event, as details recorded data is needed. Number 4, power quality analyzer used, must come with single cycle and 10 cycles aggregation time, throughout the power quality recording period, or up to 22 month. Single cycle aggregation time is needed, for accurate and details power quality voltage dip analysis and assessment. Hence we could use the accurate analysis report, for correct voltage dip mitigation recommendation. Number 5, power quality analyzer used, must equipment with onboard memory, that able to store all three phases waveforms and all electrical parameter, at sampling rate of 1024 sample per cycle, up to 22 month. Number 6, power quality analyzer used, must come with valid accuracy validation certificate, traceable to valid C-RIM calibration certificate. With more than 20 over years of field experience, PQE power system, teams of qualified and well-trained testing engineers, provide excellent wide spectrum of electrical engineering services, include on-site power quality voltage dip study and assessment. Contact us now. Your power system need an annual health check. Email to info at pqe.com.my or you could call us at 012-315-4848 during Monday to Friday, 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Thank you.